It piques your interest, but then... Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Dracula, the new Netflix series produced and written by Stephen Moffat. If you're wondering why I'm wearing this, it's because it's cold. Negative eight outside right now, and we don't exactly have the best insulation in this house, so I am very cold. Speaking of cold, this show goes from hot to cold very quickly. This show is kind of made in the same sort of mindset of how Stephen Moffat did his Sherlock series, three episodes being mini movies, taking the tried and true method of the character and then adding a little bit of different variations to him, whether it be his fear of the cross, sunlight, his normal temperaments, and his kind of legend-esque sort of stature of the character. They do some pretty good stuff with it, especially for the first two episodes. Some of these ideas are really good. Some of these are a bit on the nose, much like his dialogue. The amount of times that he says flavor in this show is ridiculous, but it works because when he bites people, he gets their knowledge, he gets their accents, he gets their talents. That is another cool little element to Dracula. Instead of just drinking blood for the sake of drinking blood, he's also drinking lives, which is something that they keep coming back to. The first two episodes basically kind of play out like the original Bram Stoker's story, kind of a little bit in the vein of Francis Ford Coppola's 1992 movie. The guy who's playing Dracula is great. They took away that whole Transylvanian accent and they replaced it with a British asshole. I actually love love the writing for him. There's a ton of tongue-in-cheek moments. His arrogance, his bravado of the character is so well done. It's such a different and refreshing sort of take on the character. It's hammy, but it's not too hammy. And all the while, the show is paying homage to previous iterations of the character. At one point, he's wearing the full-on Bela Lugosi outfit. And this change in character trait doesn't just happen to be for him, it's also for different characters, like Jonathan Harker. Woman who plays the nun Van Helsing is actually probably one of my favorite characters in this show. The first episode shows off a bunch of great things about the, her character in terms of how she combats Dracula, but then something happens at the end of the first episode which was just, okay, what? But then you go on to the second episode which in some ways is better than the first. It talks about how he gets to England from Transylvania on the boat, which admittedly isn't talked about too much, mainly because there isn't really a main character on the boat except for Dracula, and this is usually left up to interpretation. This was relatively new in terms of the whole Bram Stoker Dracula lore, and again, really good different iterations of the characters, very cool, very whodunit, very mystery-esque, kind of like what made Sherlock such a great show when it started. But then the third episode happens, and it goes from pretty decent to downright dum dum doo doo. You could say he's jumping the shark, but that's not really in terms of its theme, it's just in terms of the show's stature of logic. It ruins the whole theme of it. The character still being portrayed very decently is just wasted on some of this just dumb, dumb writing. But then it just ends on this, I don't know if you would say it's a cliffhanger or what, because it's just a mess. It ends so badly. I'm amazed that it did so, because it starts off so strong. It's kind of a really weird toss-up. Dracula is a cool idea. I love the first two episodes. I think it was a very fun and new take on the character. Then, apparently, this is what Stephen Moffat does. The disappointment just rolls itself in. The whole show just falls apart in terms of its concept. Anyways, I'm going to give Dracula a 3 out of 7. I enjoyed it. I very much liked the first two episodes and I would just stop right there because then it just, I can see what they were trying to do. And apparently the budget left along with the logic in the third episode because it's a lot of really, really bad green screen shots. It's, it's horrible. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, keep warm, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.